Testing 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, catch 5. Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and today is an extremely exciting video because we're here to talk about the new leaks, the latest teasers and leaks um, which have been found over the internet of the Oculus Quest 2 Pro or Oculus Quest 3, whatever it might be called as Facebook Connect will be coming up very very soon so let's check these out let's transition over uh, first of all i want to show you one thing we're the only youtube channel literally if there is another one please leave a comment below that has said that you know there will be a new vr headset and more than a month ago we said save your money don't buy the oculus quest 2 128 gigabytes because facebook like to take people's money they're very cheeky they know what's going to go on but yet they still deceive you the consumer in trying to take your money because honestly speaking guys with all the signs that have been going on it is not leaks it is not speculation there will be a new Oculus Quest 2 Pro or whatever it will be announced very soon. So we were trying to basically uh, warn you guys. We also said uh, sell your Quest soon. Here's why. So do go and check out that video as well. And we also said we also had a third video which said uh, time to sell your Quest. New Oculus Quest 3 or Pro coming out with new leaks as well. And then we had another video uh, also somewhere there that you can go and check out uh, again. Which, which was closer to today's date, warning you guys about all this stuff. So, you know, guys, I just want you to be aware that, as I mentioned, Facebook are very cheeky and they like to do these kind of things. They've done it before with the Oculus Quest 1. They've done it before with the Oculus Quest 2. They're doing it again with this new Quest 2 Pro or Oculus Quest 3 or whatever it might be called. Now, guys, I just want to welcome you if you're new to the channel. Welcome to this madness and very much a big, huge welcome back to all our awesome subscribers and regular viewers because it's thanks to you that I continuously upload new content to this channel. Now, let me show you the exact, sorry, let me show you the leaks that just came out literally a few hours ago. Uh, let me just transition over and let's go to our Twitter feed. Guys, if you're on Twitter, uh, look for VR Essentials 1, which is this account here. Numerical one and do follow us on um, you know on Twitter because we do post a lot of news. So let me just scroll down. First of all, uh, we had Disco VR which posted a post. Okay, because there's been quite a few posts uh, in the last. Okay, here it is. It's coming. So we have Titiana from Disco VR who posted this from scaredghost.com, my friend Anthony's blog, which we will go to very soon. Uh, we also had Sebastian Ong. Uh, who reshared Brad Lynch's um, post from MRTV. Uh, Sebastian Ong is from MRTV. Skiva from Between Realities, who also posted this. Uh, we also have Gamertag, who, who also posted uh, the leak on his Twitter feed as well. Also, Emzo VR and a whole bunch of other people, um, including Upload VR, Road to VR. Everybody's been posting this in the last few hours. So let's go to Scared Ghost Owl's Ghost uh, blog. My good friend here, I do recommend you go and check out his blog. I'll put a link in the description below. So here is the design of the actual. Uh, let me just check that my microphone is working still. Yes, it is because it stopped working earlier and I'm redoing the video. Uh, so basically, this is uh, the design. Now, guys, do be aware, by the way, that you do need, um, you know, you, you, you do need a Facebook account for the Oculus Quest 2, okay? Uh, and do be mindful that Facebook are very much known for milking people's data. So do be very cautious. They use people's data uh, to basically change your life habits subliminally without you even knowing about it. Can you imagine? Um, basically to change your life habits, as I mentioned, and your buying habits. So you'll go around, they'll send signals to you. When you look at the Facebook feed, uh, they'll send various different messages based on the comments uh, your 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 friends, uh, Facebook posts, and all these different things, so that you suddenly trigger different emotions and also different things in your in your mind, in your in, in your brain. So you start to go, oh, I want to buy an iOS, uh, an Apple iPhone today. Oh, I want to vote for this president. Oh, I want to take this vaccine. Oh, I want to buy uh, this specific hand sanitizer without even you knowing why, uh, based on all the data that they collect. Now, a lot of this data, even though allegedly they don't use this data, apparently according to their 
private, uh, private privacy policy on the website. They do say they don't use this data to sell to advertisers, but they've done it in the past. They could do very, very well, do it again in the future, and of course, do it for themselves as well. So do be mindful that all the data that they are able to take through, all the pass-through cameras, scanning all your room. And now, of course, if I transition over, uh, they have a new controller, which was leaked as well, uh, where basically it can actually have it has cameras on it. Here it is. Uh, it has cameras on it. So this camera could also be used potentially to scan your surroundings. So do be aware of what Facebook does. It is quite a dangerous company. And this is why we don't carry any Facebook products on our uh, channel at the moment. We have sold all our Oculus Quest 2. Uh, sorry, we sold all our Oculus Quest once. We do not have not purchased an Oculus Quest 2, and we do not intend to purchase to purchase sorry another VR headset, whether it's a Quest 2 Pro or um, you know what, whatever whatever it might be. We're not looking to purchase it. So I just want you to be aware of this. Um, you know we're here to 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 provide safety um, to the consumer to our subscribers. So when you subscribe to our channel, you're also very much a pro privacy uh, subscriber and not you know a hype kind of kind of channel as well. So let me show you all the latest leaks, however, and the videos. Um, you know and also we're going to be doing a shout out at the end of this video. So do watch until the end of all the various different comments uh, from the previous videos as well. So let me just transition over. Here's the uh, video, one of the videos that was leaked. So let me just play it. So do leave a comment below as to what you think about um, you know these kind of leaks. What do you think of the avatars? We can clearly see here uh, an avatar wearing the supposedly allegedly new design of the uh, of the headset. So what do you think of the new design? I mean, I think designs need to look sexy. To be honest with you, um, the design doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty cool. But what I find, um, you know, is is quite, you know not great on this video, for example, is the actual avatar, the design, it looks very Pixar. You know, it looks like it's something that would be for a kid, to be honest with you. Um, you know, the design of the avatars here, I'm talking about these specific avatars. It looks like it's for tweens or teenagers, you know, someone who's basically between the age of eight uh, to maybe the age of 12 or 13 years old. It doesn't appeal to someone like me who is in my, I'm not going to reveal my age. Uh, let's just say I'm in my 30s, okay? Um, but you know, it, it doesn't look like something that uh, would appeal to someone in the 30, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, or 60s, or 70s, even. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Here's another video that was leaked. Uh, this is more geared towards the uh, enterprise. We can see someone wearing the headset. Uh, and now I do think it's very cool that you can use a remote like this to draw something. Uh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. But again, the design of the avatars, the 3D avatars there, uh, to me, um, you know, look look very much like, uh, you know, uh, again, uh, tweens, teens, I don't know, someone who's 15. It doesn't really appeal to me, um, you know, let's just say I'm in my 30s, um, you know, uh, to adults. I mean, leave a comment below. What do you think about the design, uh, the marketing, you know, the animated things? Do you think it's appealing to you? Let me know what age you are in your comments as well, whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Um, you know, or if you're in your teens, we don't have many teenagers on this channel, to be honest with you. Um, but you know, we do have some. So do let me know if um, this appeals to you. I don't know what what do you guys think. Um, and then let's look at the third video here. Uh, here it is. We have another video here that was leaked uh, with some Beat Saber. Again, the animated characters here. What do you guys think? Does it appeal to you in your age brackets? What do you think? Does this excite you? Does this make you think, yeah, I want to get an Oculus Quest 2 Pro. This looks frigging amazing. This is for me. Or does it make you think, I don't know, this this looks like it's for kids to me. I'm not very excited about this. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Do leave a comment below. Love to get your feedback. It will be really awesome. And also, potentially, I'll give a shout out in next future videos as well uh, to people who leave comments uh, below as well. So um, so this is, as I mentioned, the design here that's leaked. What do you guys think of the design? Now, let's look at other uh, design. I, 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 I mean, I don't know. I think, you know, to a certain degree, um, you know, uh, we need we need VR headsets to look sexy, right? I mean, come on, they need to look like 
I wouldn't go as far as a fashion, fashion accessory, but it needs to look sexy. It needs to look appealing. It needs to look like something that people want to go, wow, what's this on his head? This looks pretty sweet. This looks pretty cool. I want to wear this. Let's look at some other designs, um, you know, that are available on the market. This is the HTC um, Focus, which to me looks pretty damn cool, to be honest with you. I mean, it looks pretty bulky, but um, but it looks damn cool. I, I like the front of it. It looks pretty nice. We look at the, the Pico Neo 3. It doesn't look super sexy, but it looks kind of cute. You know, it's got that kind of uh, panda kind of thing going on. I think the DPVR to me really wins it at this moment in time. Uh, the DPVR P1 Pro 4K, the front of it is damn cool, man. It is damn sexy, I have to say this. And also the HTC uh, Vive Flow, uh, which was released very, very recently, to me looks like something that is pretty cool, uh, I have to say. Uh, you know, it, 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 it looks out there, it's pretty avant-garde, so you know, there, there is some pretty cool designs. We, we can see that VR right now, uh, VR headsets are looking more and more avant-garde. Um, you know, so that, that, that to me is, you know, it is something that is quite exciting to me that uh, we are getting. And of course, when Apple come out with their own VR headset now, that's going to be, I hope it's going to look damn cool and, and really pro propel VR, you know, to another stratosphere in terms of the look and feel of a VR headset because Apple are very well known for releasing uh, damn sexy looking uh, products. Let's just be honest, it doesn't matter what you think about the products. I'm just talking about the, uh, the, 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 the product design of it. Uh, and also, of course, if we go to the Lynx R1, um, you know, it looks damn sweet too. You know, this is the an XR headset. Um, yeah, I, re I really like the design. I mean, look at this. It looks nothing like what's around at the moment. Um, this one, the transparent one, looks really damn cool as well. I really like the uh, transparency of the design. It looks pretty cool. Um, so, you know, a, lo a lot to be... A lot to be excited about. But guys, um, time to say thank you to you and to give some shout outs of previous comments on the latest video that we did. And remember to hit the like, the subscribe, the enable bell so YouTube tells you in your algorithm when we upload all these cool new videos uh, coming up in the future. And also, of course, um, you know, uh, uh, reach out on all, all your social media uh, because, guys, we are almost, uh, if I just show you, uh, you know, let, let's, let's give some welcome. Welcome to you. Let's welcome some new subscribers to the channel. Uh, so let's go to the YouTube studio. Guys, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, as I keep mentioning. So smash the like, smash the reshare. Reshare on all your social media, guys. Please, please, please. So that by the time we're at 10,000 subscribers or more, I can then do giveaways of keys, of hardware, and a whole bunch of different things. So let me welcome... Bozman, Rich Morris, Bruno Villela, Epons, Pipi, Sparky Sven, Carnizo, Adbees, Jorgen Pedersen, and Arjun Synth. Guys, you guys are super awesome. Welcome to the channel. Uh, and then let's do a random subscriber count as well. Uh, Arma Essa, Music and Sound Effect Library, Moby Pixel, Copyright Man, uh, the guy from Abu Dhabi or Esrao or somewhere there. Um, welcome to you. Dream Eater Arts, J Luna, DJ Rexy, Cult of Otaku Church, Pokana Oli, and Husna Holton. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the channel. You guys are extremely super awesome because it's thanks to you that I keep uploading new content to this channel. So thank you, thank you guys. Now let's give some shout outs to the comments uh, that you've left on previous videos. So let's just go to the channel. Here we go. Let's go to videos. And let's go to the previous video here. The links we are on which we posted yesterday. So do go and check out that video uh, as well. So Saka VR Fantasy Action Games Archive, welcome to guest two. Hand tracking is already good, but four camera with four cameras. Imagine how good Links R1 is going to be. Yes, of course, because the Links R1 is going to have seven cameras, which is damn amazing. So that's going to be very cool. Sonic the Hedge, what? Three hours is nothing. He's talking about battery life. You don't know VR chat users if you say it's enough. Well, basically, what I was trying to say is that um, you know, basically. Um, the, the, the Link Sun one's going to have three hours batteries, which I think is more than enough. Because guys, honestly speaking, 
We don't need to be in VR for more than three hours at this moment in time. It's not healthy for our back, our collarbone. It's not healthy for our eyesight, you know, all these kind of things. So I think three hours is more than enough. But of course, if more uh, battery life can be provided, then the merrier, right? So that, that's basically what I was uh, trying to make allusion to. Okay, uh, let's carry on. Um, so Artful Stan said the weight is about 250 grams. Oh, okay. Well, I thought it was more than that. But does that include uh, Stan said Stan is the founder. He said that it was 250 grams. So thank you very much Artful for your comment. But does that include the actual halo strap? I don't think so. Uh, I think including the halo strap is probably going to be around 400 or 500 grams. But guys, I could be completely wrong. I will try to find out this and update you in a future video. Artful, thank you again for your comment. Glenn Risk says really don't want an LCD headset but I do really like this otherwise yes so the Lynx R1 is going to have an LCD of course it would be great if you had OLED because OLED has crisper pixels crisper colors and also better contrast Benny Cock thank you very much for your uh, for your fire there really appreciate you coming to the channel and saying hi uh, William Murphy still seems too much like a prototype yes it's very true uh, that the Lynx R1 basically is still very much at a, a prototype prototype stage sorry um, but you know very excited to see and also of course um, you know they have doubled the amount of funds that came in within two weeks or a week or whatever uh, when they did the Kickstarter campaign so a lot of people are very excited uh, about the links I want but do go and check out that video guys thank you so much for watching today's video thank you so much for liking resharing on your social media and enabling the bell notification as well so more people get to see the videos and also subscribe to the community so I could do giveaways in the future guys thank you again for watching today's video as well I will see you in the comments below and also in another video very soon guys are you pumped leave a comment below bye nice to see you again